I'm Jan Holly, and we are on a journey through the season of Lent. And in today's Daily Refresh, I am privileged to talk to you about one of the words out of our book, Pauses for Lent, by uh, Trevor Hudson. And the word for today is temptation. Wow, it's a scary word. It's a big word, and it brings with it a lot of emotion and um, some pain, maybe, some different thoughts. So I wanna discuss that just briefly with you today. Uh, temptation, as defined uh, by some, is a desire to engage in short-term urges for our own enjoyment that threatens our long-term goals. In scripture, uh, in the Lord's Prayer, in Matthew 6, verse 13, Jesus is teaching his disciples and a real short verse there says, lead us not into temptation. Lead us not. There is a solution to temptation. That solution is Jesus, Jesus Christ. Our book on pauses for Lent says that um, in this quest, in this desire to understand it, uh, Hebrews 4.15 uh, says that we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weakness, but we have one who was tempted in every way, just as we are, and yet he did not sin. You see, Jesus understands exactly what you are going through in your temptation. And we can pray that he will lead us not, lead us out of, help us in our time of need. With confidence, because he will give us mercy in that time of need. He will show us grace in that time of need. We are fortunate to be this side of the cross. And so as you walk through the rest of this week and Holy Week next week, and then Good Friday and Tenebrae, keep your eyes fixed on the fact that Jesus understands where you are. He loves you just as you are and understands exactly what you and I are going through. And then he can lead us out of that if we ask him. Go to him with confidence in your time of need, and he will lead you where you need to go. I pray this encourages you today and that you have a great day, and I hope to see you on Sunday. Goodbye.